is John Wall from the New York Knicks, Syracuse University. Y'all watching Real Fans Real Talk. Word. RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Domus trip young and intern Tom For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan Hello everyone, Mark the Stat Man Skevich, Real Fans Real Talk Alongside former NBA great John Wallace Thank you for coming on to the program, John Thanks for having me, man. I really appreciate it. Well, we definitely appreciate you coming out here to the 50th anniversary of Rucker Park and help train some of the kids at an early age. Now, how early of an age did you start falling in love with the sport of basketball, John? Well, I didn't, my first love is actually football. I did a lot of football and boxing coming up. That makes two of us. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't start basketball till uh, eighth grade. So I was a. I was all I, I was always an athlete, but I was more so football, boxing. Then my height and size kind of steered me towards going into basketball and being competitive guy that I am. I wasn't that good, but I I, I couldn't accept being, you know, uh, not the best in my neighborhood. So I always strove to be the best in my neighborhood, then the best in the state, then the best in the country. So that's kind of like how my, my progression went. Yeah, well, we heard Vin talk about work ethic and how important work ethic is for these kids uh, in order to be great. You obviously uh, played in Syracuse, which is kind of like a, a local New York team, and then eventually ended up playing for the Knicks. Uh, what was it like playing for the Knicks after playing for Syracuse and kind of having like uh, the uh, local fans from Syracuse rooting you on? Oh, man, it was a dream come true uh, to be, uh, you know, four years at Syracuse. And to go and get drafted by the Knicks was, you know, the greatest achievement of my life. And to still be a part of the Knicks organization, you know, it's a cliche, but it's true. Once a Nick, always a Nick. And you know, it's 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 an like the things that the Knicks do in the community. And I'm not just saying it because I work for the Knicks, but the Knicks are in the community like 365 days, all day, every day. We're, it's, it's near and dear to the Knicks' heart, my heart, with Chase and the Knicks. It's, it's just an incredible thing. They're always constantly doing stuff in the, in, in the neighborhoods. All five boroughs we try to touch at, at all times. So it's, it's an amazing thing. Yeah, it's great. Uh, you, you had a good playing career, but afterwards I'm sure it's very rewarding being involved with an organization that does give back to the community. Where can the, the fans out there find out about upcoming events that uh, that you'll be a part of uh, along with the Knicks, the, the youth? Everything's always on like Knicks.com. Uh, you go to the Knicks Twitter page and uh, the Facebook page and stuff, but there, all the events are always posted, uh, you know, and it's pretty much open to the community. Uh, depending on which community we're in, it's always open, it's, it's no charge. It's the only thing we charge is you come in, you listen to the instructions of the council that we have, and, uh, and you work hard. Now, a lot of these kids, their favorite players, Steph Curry, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, you name it. You, growing up, when you did start getting into basketball, did you have a favorite player? Patrick Ewing and Bernard, Bernard King. That's that's my guy right there. The, the, Patrick Ewing, definitely my favorite all time, so I could definitely relate to that. Um, Patrick Ewing, um, what was it like playing alongside Patrick Ewing? Patrick's the hardest working guy I've ever been around in my life. He was, I don't care what time you got to the gym, he was already there sweating. Um, even when you try to say, you know, I'm going to beat him there the next day, it just never happened. That guy worked so hard. He maximized all his potential, and it was an honor and a privilege to play alongside him. What was uh, some of the highlights uh, of your career, um, of your NBA career? What were some of the, your favorite moments? Just well, First of all, just coming in with the Knicks, I was, I was around a bunch of consummate pros who really taught me not just stuff about basketball, but life away from basketball and how to uh, have longevity in the game and what work really is, is about. And, um, you know, just, just showing you all the right things that you can do to prolong your career. And, and I took, I was very receptive to everything they told me, and I, I applied it to my life. So I'm very thankful. All right. And uh, Rucker Park obviously has a lot of history. Do you have any favorite memories as far as uh, the history of Rucker Park? Uh, I, I mean, I played in Rucker a couple of times, but uh, I, I just... I just love the atmosphere here. It's, you know, there's no atmosphere like Rucker when you come here in the summer and it's a big game. 
the, the stands are filled, people are standing on the sideline. You can almost get tripped by guys, but it, that's the environment you want. I love it. All right, uh, of course, you got to play at the Garden, the, the mecca of basketball, uh, Rucker Park, its own aura in itself. So it's great to see you here at the 50th anniversary of Rucker, out here helping the kids. Uh, thank you for coming on Real Fans Real Talk, and uh, thank you for being a part of the community and giving back to the community. John. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Right. Thank you. Well, Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh -huh. and if